Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and in today's video we're going back to the fully randomized rogue lands, playing as Gage, the Mechromancer, because I think she has the highest chance of winning. So the fully uh, the fully randomized version of this game requires a couple more mods to download. I can put links in the description to those mods, but the main two are the gear randomizer and the skill randomizer. So my skills are going to be completely random with skills from all different kinds of characters. Pretty pretty cool. And the guns, there's a lot of information we can take from the card, and there's a lot of information that we can try to ignore from the card. For instance, a lot of the special effects, they only get those the special effects, I think, by the barrel or different parts. The cards can lie. Like this one right here says 2.15 million at a fire rate of 9.5 right away. I'm looking at this like times seven and thinking this is going to be goaded, goaded sauce, goaded tier sauce. Okay, I think, it, I think this one does have a chance to go the distance. All right, let's try this... Reduced Teeth of Terramorphous, high damage, much lower fire rate. That's the two biggest numbers I'm looking at. So let's swap to it. Looks like a Fire Teeth of Terramorphous, but the sound, the sound doesn't do it for me. I don't like that sound. I think mo it's most Malawans, honestly, in this mod that do it. Let's, get, let's swap it out for this Ahab. So the damage on it isn't so high. Mm, it can... I think we might give it a shot. The Malawan, unfortunately, you're getting replaced by this potential TDR. 17 round magazine. I think it could be pretty cool. All this gear right here, not randomized. Not randomized at all. So this Prodigy, I am going to take it. A Sticky Homing Transfusion, I am going to take it. Even though it is has a long fuse time and it's only a times four, which means I only get four healing out of it. No, I usually, if it's only a times four, I kind of like to... At least, like right here, here's a, here's, a, here's an example. But for my transfusions, I want to have as many projectiles as possible with the shortest fused. Transfusion is best, lob to second. I would say rubberize is, is the one I would ever, maybe not take. So here's an example, Quartz Bane. The Bane typically slows you down when you use it. Yep, we do get the Bane effect. So the card is not always alive. But oh my gosh. Okay, that is going on the bench. Oh, fatal error. Unlucky. That is something that you can encounter if you are running a bunch of mods, especially because I haven't run the 1.0 and 1.1.0 mod that many times, especially with all these added bonus stuff like this this gear randomizers, is sometimes you will encounter errors. And the first thing I would do if you encounter something is remove or disable all unnecessary mods. So right now I'm running it back. Um, with exactly the same, just to see if the bug will replicate itself. Thanks, Tannis, for the info. But if you're going to be playing with this mod on, it, there can be the Roguelands mod and the randomizers and everything that goes along with it. The requirements like structs and map loader, which doesn't have to be enabled. I'm getting a lot of grenades, and if you know me, I don't really like grenades in the starting or in in the mega randomized. Because grenades are tricky. The, the, the a lot of them lie. Okay, at, at, at default and randomized, launchers are debuffed because of the fact that this one has 23 million damage though, it's called a gub. Okay, you know what? I mean, what do you say when you get, a, when you get that weapon right there? What's up, Butt Stallion? Because grenades usually lie, but I will go ahead. I will throw them all. I Listen, I'm playing Rogue Lands Mini. Once we find stuff that works, we can blow through the content, okay? All right, so let's see. Assault Rifle Damage, we will take this. It's got some nice skills on it. By the way, I think I'll have a brand new ran, re-randomized tree. I do. We do get a little bit of Death Trap. We do get a little bit of Do or Die. Grenades immediately have good synergy. It's amazing with Grenadier right there. Okay, we're going to be farming for some good grenades, I think. Hmm. I think Death Stare makes a lot of sense. We do have Ward for our shields. And sharing is caring. Oh, okay, okay. I could see something happening. I wish Backdraft. If Backdraft applied to Death Trap, that'd be kind of cool. We have a really nice Death Trap build. We got Upshot Robot. The stare at, at one point value. We have strength of five gorillas if we really wanted to go that. 
Yeah. Okay. I think for now, though, we stick with what will work for round one. What works for round one? Ward. So as of right now, I don't. I I really do not see a gun that we are going to be taking. I might start off with something that's not randomized. We gotta try these all these grenades out. Lightning bolt. What do you do? Hey, you, you might perform as advertised. A lob shocked crossfire. Chuck me. Do I take damage from this? Get in there. Get in there. Doesn't look like I'm taking damage from it. That's big news. Lob shot crossfire might be my number one. Let's see. Bouncing bunny. What do you do, friend? Okay. You spit one cross of cloud. If I step on you, do I get damaged? I'm not too sure if I can be damaged at all right now. Sticky longbow. 0, 0.0 second fuse time. Okay, so I think that's kind of like... I think that's kind of like the first one we tried out. Only worse. So this lightning bolt is going to be my number one for now. But I think the lob shot crossfire might have some juice. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think this lightning bolt has juice too. Okay, cool. Now, let's go to the potent roboteer class mod. So these, the, the, the major issue about rogue lands in combination with a randomizer is that between each tier, your items that you collect get fresh rolls. So most of the time they lose what makes them special. Everything will, all the rolls re, be refreshed. And I don't think it ever makes them stronger, to be honest with you. I've never seen it. If it does happen, it's very rare. Most of the time, the gear that you get in between tiers becomes practically useless in the next tier, which is a whole thing. Okay, shock, fuster cluck. Let's see, what does it do? A lot of these grenades are lies. So once we identify which one of them are lying, we can Im immediately just replace them with something new. By the way, they increased the base backpack size to 100 for everybody. That's a nice grenade right there. Okay. And the reason I can do this is because every time you pick up a grenade, you get a new one. Okay. That was a rubberized. That one's probably got to make contact with something. But when it does, what does it do? A large slag hit. Okay. So we know what all the grenades do. Let's go ahead and start with our lob shocked crossfire. We have a launcher we can use. I don't want to use anything from here that's. I'll take a shield with me, an amp shield. Okay, let's go see what we can do. Death trap, please do not let me down here. Okay, death trap. I need you to. How much damage is your laser gonna do? Laser me. Oh shoot, we could be in trouble. This thing is unreal damage though. 23 milli off rip. Oh my gosh, look at that Pyrophobia stats. Okay. This Pyrophobia is touting a... It's a 10 million damage number times something? What's that times? Times five? Super slow fire rate. Okay, got it. The Slag Octo. Surely this thing's got juice, right? Holy! Yeah, it's got juice. So, <laughs> this is welcome to randomized uh, roguelands. And the reason I like this a little bit better, why I like roguelands just a little bit better than Borderlands 2 in general, is because Borderlands has really goaded gunplay and level structure and character design. Like their skills and everything, top tier. Like, I, there's a big reason why I like Borderlands in general is the character design and the skill tree design. Right? So I would like to play through all the characters in a relatively short fashion. I like the, the shorter run size that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Speaking of short run size, someone come on now. Did you see that snipe? Okay, enemies also have uh, randomized weapons, by the way. Which is... I have do or die. Let's get some grenades out there. That's all I got. Ooh, speaking of short runs. Oh, pff, speaking of short runs, I mean, we're so back. 
Okay. We loot this stage. The shields? I don't even get me started on the shields. I have no idea what's good. Mine, mine's just bigger than that one right now, so that's what we keep. Maybe I should have just used the sniper the whole time. Because this, this gun, I don't know what its deal is. I need to use it as like a shotgun or whatnot, but it really let me down there. Let's get the slag Scorpio out. Is this, is this gun real? Hope so. Okay, what can get replaced? I think our launcher needs to stay, but if it's going to stay, and these guns get randomized. When I click one, it'll be a new gun. It'll be the corrosive orc. I think shock, I don't take shotguns. I think shotguns are inherently debuffed and so are launchers. Because shotguns, how they work with extra pellets is that their base damage value number is shared throughout the pellets. The same thing with the B shield. I'll take that impaler. I'm not too sure if it'll work or anything. Okay, how about a meteor shower grenade? Let's check this out. See, that's my thing about the grenades is that... Oh man, I'm swapping out guns already that I don't want to swap out, but it, I mean, it is what it is. Double iridium. I would take this uh, unicorn drop, but those guns will not be randomized. Those guns are, I think, made specifically by Pyrex slash Joel's dude. Like, and they're in a pool. On a seed or something. Okay, okay. This one's touting 345k times 15. So it behaves like a shotgun, but it doesn't have all the downsides of the shotgun. It has all the upsides of behaving like a pistol. I think... This SMG, I know I haven't used it against an enemy yet, but I think this gun right here is going to be showing us consistency. That TMP, again, just if people in the, I know in the comment section, I do get some people that say like, oh, why aren't you trying everything? Like anything could be amazing. It's, it's because I know this gun with one pellet, no red text. It's going to behave like a basic Borderlands gun. Now it's just about the stats, right? 304,000 damage, fire rate 1.4 against the same base damage value times 15 with a much faster fire rate. You know what I'm saying? I have no, there's no reason for me to try this gun. Right. That being said, I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to try it. That, there's just nothing there. In Malawan, sometimes the Malawan has the sound. This one doesn't. With the base damage value of just over a million with shots that slow, I don't think it will ever out DPS this TDR pistol. I'm just saying. Max health or incendiary damage? Well, we don't have any sort of incendiary damage boost yet, so that's a welcome that's a welcome addition to the squad. Now that we can get Grenadier, do I have enough for a respec? Insufficient funds. How could you do that to me? Okay, more guns to try, obviously. 409,000 damage, fire rate 1.2. Probably not going to be good, but we will shoot it anyway. It's 78.8% slag. I think it has a, a place in the team, to be honest with you. It feels like a... Kind of like a Snyder. And what its purpose is. Now, this one is tapping some big deeps. Sorry. Let's see. The close quarters rifle. 560k times 9. Fire rate of 5. Large magazine size. Corrosive for armor shred. I think I have my three guns. I think I've got my three guns. And unfortunately, I'm going to do something I almost never like to do. I'm going to replace this launcher. Mm, honestly, that's who who cares? I don't even need slag. It's a stitch slag. It's it's nerfed in this game mode anyway. Don't need it. This isn't Borderlands 2 UVHM. It is Borderlands 2 UVHM, but with custom balancing changes. Just by the way, like Roguelands game mode comes with that base, which is pretty cool. Like if you were to ask me like what's one quality of life mod I would like to add, it would probably be like a slag change. I think a lot of people will agree that slag is being required on most builds is a little bit of a meh thing, but it does give like, Axton and, and like Gage some extra utility because they get slag in their kits. Maya obviously too. Zero has a little bit. Salvador has two guns. Who gets left out? Creek? 
Who else doesn't get slag built in? Zero has kunai. Gage has interspersed outburst. Maya has ruin and um, scorn. Salvador has two guns. Axon has slag turrets. Does every character have one? I mean, besides Creek, right? Creek is left out. It's not. That's 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 dirt. That's crazy what they did to my boy like that. That's just. That's why Mr. TX01 always runs it's the Slaga. If you guys don't know Mr. TX01, he's a Borderlands YouTuber. Guy makes insanely good Creek guides and overall good content. Let's um. I want to get to this, but I don't care about any of these. I just don't care about the, my other options here. They they offer me nothing at this stage in the game. You know, let's let's just do a little bit of death trap and go next. I mean, it's like, bro, you're 16 minutes in, you're mobbing round one. You, I'm building a base. You, you want to get it? Do you see what I'm saying? I'm I'm just building a base of operations. I'm starting from scratch, starting from the beginning. I'm trying to ping like it's Borderlands 3. That that reload is crippling. Crippling, by the way. I, don't, I didn't think I saw any reload speed. Now most people would say, just drop reload it. Just drop reload it. I will do animation cancels like that. But you will not catch me drop reloading. Sorry. We'll just watch the number. Melee after. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get shots off. Get shots off. Get shots off. Oh. Oh, whoa. Yeah. That, that enemy had a crazy gun. Now, there is a mod where they will drop what they're using. It's called Cold Dead Hands, but it's not on the Python SDK database. So I'm just not going to be installing it. If it makes it onto the Python SDK database, then... Then, then a doobie is what it is to be. Let's uh, go ahead... And just because of the name of this gun, we're going to have to put it on. You know what I'm saying? There, there are rules here. Is it fake? Oh my gosh. That's... Do you know why it's fake? It's because... Hyperion is a fake corporation. You know what I'm saying? They're a fake corporation. I don't care if, like, technically in the, in the lore... Um, Athena's in charge of it. Athena's fake too. She should own the Atlas Corporation. I don't not even own it. Like the whole thing of the CEO's thing is just like a it's just character assassination to me through and through. Anyways. Interspersed outburst for auto slagging purposes. Makes a lot of sense to me. Let's just go. Let's just rock it. There's a vault symbol over there in that corner. But I feel like I've, I've I've built my base for this stage. There's too many guns to try. Okay. How's this one doing? This one doing okay? Are you performing? That, that's his maximum effective range right there, I would say. Any further than that, we're not getting anything out of it. It's really more of a close range weapon. I think, it's, I think it's performing quite well, but against these type of en enemies, if I'm tryharding, I'm probably going a little bit of fire damage. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that fire is slow, slow. It, it locks me out of sprint. See this? I can't even sprint. If I swap back, I think it'll be a little bit better like that. Yeah. Sw and then shoot again. Yeah. It's, I think that might actually be faster. So what can we replace? This gun stays. This gun stays. This gun definitely stays. Which means we're down to our launcher again. The fire infinity. Does it does it shoot anything? No, but it's really cool. It does have the infinity property. Uh, infection cleaner. Let's see. But the infection cleaner is supposed to be a throw reload. Looks like it's going in a how many bursts? 28, 25, 22. Interesting. Doing some weird stuff. A rock infinity. This one's actually got some decent damage numbers. That is one of the coolest looking weapons I think I've ever seen. It's got to do damage, right? 
anything here worth looking at okay the backup maybe but listen we gotta go check this thing out bandit shoddy come on come and get it what's my grenade right now is it anything good that looks pretty good no it's actually kind of bad wait but because i'm playing single player when i hit pause it pauses the game it's crazy yeah, it's meteor shower i'm expecting to grenade damage let's just go for our lob shock crossfire i do not believe it damages us definitely damages us you're taking damage but it's, but it's ripping these enemies apart oh nice shot yeah, this, the, the shotgun never runs out of ammo, okay? Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Don't give up on it yet. Come on. That's not bad. I can hit a shot with it. Where, where are these bullets even going? Oh my gosh. I'm hitting the rock to my left. Do you see that? It's the most inaccurate gun of all time. Is it firing in the shape of the infinity symbol? I think it is. Let's see. Man, hard to tell right now. It is inaccurate. Yeah, that that's that's the most inaccurate gun I've ever seen. Its accuracy stat is a one. Holy. Okay, this fine Laco. It's a Jacobs. Let's see how it fires. It just ate all my ammo, but I'm pretty sure it's going to do massive deeps. Anything else want to try here? Here's a creamer. Fire rate is two. Damage is okay. Fire rate is good. Slag. Rock salt. Let's see. It's time six. Good fire rate. Yeah, the one in my hands honestly isn't as good this could be really good really really good multi-projectiles is what we want okay let's just try this one out for a second spider ants spider ants where do you be all right I now officially have competing roles here because right now I've got the shock pistol, right? I'm going to be trying out. It's competing against this shock pistol. Which is kind of an, an interesting development in the build. So that your number one shock DPS option in Rogue Lance is probably maybe the most important slot. Because the raid boss is Pyro Pete and Cromorax. Ooh, okay. Now, that looks absolutely incredible. Okay, on paper, this thing's a fipper with insane damage, an okay fire rate, a reload speed of, of 20, but we never have to reload it because it has a 500 round magazine. This kitten might heal us up. And its reload speed isn't the size of Mount Everest like my current. Keep away, let's run, let milkshake. Right, let's roll. We're gonna start with this fibber. See if we can make something, some magic happen with it. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, someone in the comment section of one of my recent fully randomized, he said that, hey, you're not using the fibber right. If you get a fibber, what you wanna try is to shoot it like it's a fibber, basically. I was like, ah, uh, thinking about it. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, that makes a little sense. So here we go. I think this gun might be... I mean, just look at it. A little bit of a waste of death trap, but he wants to come out and check out the loot as well, so... Don't be hating on my, on my boy like that. Okay. I think it's time to say goodbye to this sniper so I can try out new guns. Nothing. Fast fire rate, very fast fire rate. Big old mag, how's the reload speed? I think that that screams consistency to me. 
Evil Smasher. Mm. I don't like it. Reload speed one, Mala one. I'm sorry, not reload speed. Fire rate is only one, Mala one. Oh, slag damage? Yeah. Take that little slag damage. Is my main weapon slag? No, it's not slag. But I do do a decent chunk of slag damage. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, time for our skills. You're saying it's it's time to... Oh, we do have close enough. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You know I'm saying we're going to the moon. We have close enough with this. It's over. It's over. At least for state tier one. Whoa, that re don't reload it. No reason to, buddy. No, no reason to. Oh, 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 it's favorite time. Okay, it does eat my ammo a little bit. Later, kid. I'm so sorry. Good night. Wow. This thing one shots. So I actually have drop reload bind it. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm never going to have to reload it. Okay. Are we good? Are we good to shoot shot? No, because we honestly... We I kind of need some shovels, guys. To be, if I'm being completely honest with you, I need to shoot some shovels because I need some some base level gear that's gonna try to help me out here. Oh my gosh, too many guns to try out. Shock Invader, let's see. Oh, that looks fun. Could be cool. Incendiary shotgun, but it's a, but it's an assault rifle. Some pretty high damage. A fire rate of forty three point seven. There's a pretty good chance that this is a fake gun, but let's try it out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate that. Let's try this Emerald Slagger that I got as a quest reward. Mm, I don't see it being better than my other slag options. Not as much high, not as high damage either. Something that's not a shotgun. Where's one of those pistols go? I think that the spend it one should be fine. Getting a lot. Hmm. Never have to reload this bad boy. Fire rate is kind of slow though. This one's a ten guska. Its damage isn't that high. But it might do some weird stuff. Weapon slot one. Nope. No weird stuff. No weird stuff going on. All right. Let's go to the next stage. No shovels, no problem. The fridge. This should be my first mini boss. Oh my gosh, you kidding me? This is my first mini boss? Doesn't matter. Uh, I think with that, with our shotgun, we're always going to be in the bottom half of our magazine. Because of the nature of not... Because the magazine's 500, and you don't ever get more than 500 shotgun ammo. So this, I just got a, a huge fire rate increase. By taking uh, gauges scale the better half, which increases your ma your fire rate once you're below half your magazine. I'm pretty sure my DPS just went to the moon. Biggest problem is going to be ammunition. Let's see what we can do this guy. We're at 1 HP already, somehow. It's over. It's It's over. At least for tier one, it's completely over. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so these are going to be weapons that are not randomized. You could go for Miss Maxi's crit. But it does leave a bit of a bad taste in my mouth. Because of how it's utilized in BL3. That being said, I did make a guide of how to use it like that. And listen, don't ask, don't ask questions you don't want answers to, okay? Conference call, 551,000 damage. It might split pellets, but I think for tier one, honestly. Ooh, antagonist. You know what? Yeah, let's just take it. I could get a little bit of healing. I mean, I thought I had lifesteal, but... Apparently, I do not. So here, the better half. 60% fire rate increase. Um, and we will take Abel. Complaining about not having health regen. Well, Abel actually is pretty decent health regen. Alright. The reload indicator is up. But we do not need to reload. Yeah. 
Okay, so the token of wealth is an absolute musket. Absolute musket. Iridium me. And as much as I want to look at all this loot, I think for the health of me, for the health of everybody involved. Okay. For the health of me and everybody involved, we do. Look at that fire rate. Look at this. It's like, stop. You don't need it. You don't need it. I need it. Yeah. I do. Look, give me something to mash. Okay. Oh my gosh. But I think sometimes the relics don't work as in, as advertised. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Let's put my five points in and then we can head on out. Let's go able. Yeah, 2% of your max health. That's that's I think bigger than other characters health regen skills especially because when you're in combat you'll always be dealing damage especially when because it, it's an action skill you got to tear it up I think it's finally time that maybe we take shock storm I, I backdraft just doesn't make any sense to me I just don't I don't see how I would be using backdraft at any point in time the Nova could be useful but all right we are not going for the legendary box because it's just going to be random weapons. We are instead going to go for scattered, diversified SDUs here. Almost random. It's just okay. Let's go diversified SDUs because this shotgun that I'm rocking right now. Oh, Pete! The shotgun I'm rocking right now is not going to be the absolute best long term after this tier. But for a pirate Pete kill, I mean, it'll do the trick. Pow, 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 pow. Okay. Let's collect and let's move on. I want to thank this gun for being the greatest gun I think I've ever ex ever had in my life. Favorite it. Remember it for what it is. Honestly, what I might do is... What I should do now is put it in like a bank vault somewhere. Like there's a chance that it survives the, the nerf apocalypse of tier 2. There is. But I don't think it will. Remember those stats... We'll see. Oh, okay, this is a new one. How does this work? Jump me here. Jump me here. But then it comes back. Yep. Oh, first time that. First time that. That's what I do. That's what, just what I do. Is this who I do be? All right, on to tier two we go. Hopefully we can get a gun as cool as that focused fiber. Um, I doubt it. Let's see, did it survive the nerf apocalypse? Did anything survive the nerf apocalypse? So my focus fiber has become a, as you can see, shotgun. Uh, it's, it's just, it's criminal what they did to my boy. That's why we take multiple projectile weapons. So that way when we come back here, we have better rolls at... Like, look at this, this infinity shotgun. It, it's back from the grave. Right? I mean, it's fire is kind of slow. Let's see. It's, it's still decent. Like, it's way better than it was before. Extra Fast Infinity. Now, that's a great name for a gun right there. Anything else that I can maybe use? Don't let the shotguns... The shotguns can trick you. I think this, this one's still good. So is that one. Okay, so my slot 5 is opened. I, I won't say sorry to my... My shoddy. I think you would still be great for us. In fact, I think it might have survived the nerf apocalypse. 1.5 million times 5? Give it a chance, brother. Give it a chance. Oh, man. That's not a bad gun either. It's times 5. Fast fire rate. It's a heartbreaker. It might heal me. A seraphim? Very high damage. Fire rate 3.3. Let's be real with ourselves. On the ground right here. Oh, I need to find more crystals. By the way, there's a whole bunch of new uh, Easter eggs apparently in the game. Oh, it's fake. Okay, well, we don't have to worry about that. It's fake. This heartbreaker might actually be pretty good for us. Just should be up there too. Magazine size is 17, which immediately draws me to this. Fire rate isn't that great though. Let's see, let's say goodbye to our old shotgun. Sorry. Seems simple. Seems effective. Okay, climb me. 
I'm not gonna go... I don't think I'm gonna go looking every single map for the Easter eggs, but... Ooh, how about this evolution? I mean, that makes sense. Looks good. But if I, you know, if I'm, if I'm sticking around somewhere and I come across them... They're hard to find, a lot of them. I don't know what this... This one, I mean, it's a middle of Ith and that says roar! I mean, it's kind of cool. This one has a negative 200 fire... Fire rate, which makes me immediately think that it's fake. This, this weapon is definitely real. Definitely real. Uh, let's swap it out. Let's just tie this this fake gun out. Yeah, not only is it fake, but it also drains my ammo. Watch. No bolts, no nothing. What about this nukem? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Now let's head out. My other gear, like my my grenades and stuff, are also going to be very much randomized. So my yeah, this is just a lobbed grenade now. All my gear is like completely, basically just gone, done and dusted between rounds. Oh, but the Nukem Sniper drops it on these, on these Skags. Skags are weak to very high fire damage. That is their weakness. I hate you, and I think I, I die here. To try something else. Well, this does good damage. Holy, okay, okay. Wow, uh, we're saved. We're saved by the Heartbreaker. Okay, very cool with that with that Sniper. Might replace it. This Heartbreaker? Kind of saved my life against a Rabid Skag, no less. How much of that was me? How much of that was Death Trap? Not too sure. Pretty nice damage. Pretty nice damage. Okay, how about a Magic Missile? You're gonna behave like a Magic Missile? Hey, you know what? You're on the squad. Let's push. I don't. I just don't believe in a in a, in a legend as an incendiary shred of fire. But that's also a launcher. Oh my cheat menu. Um. Okay, let's let's try. Out, let's just see it, what it does. Oh, it's on the squad. Oh yeah, it's on the squad. I think it's sick. Okay, let's take my five. I think. Death Trap getting better is a great option. Anything else in here that's... Important? I mean, Grenadier, we wanted more grenades from the start. But if we're gonna do the whole grenade thing... Let's start like this. How about we do this? All the gear in our backpacks, drop. Let's do a fresh start, that way it's much easier to go through my inventory. Right? I do want to... I was going to say, maybe keep some of those class mods. So I'm rocking an assault rifle as my main damage source. So maybe that maybe that uh, class mod for assault rifles would be kind of good. Plus 9 in Mylan. Plus 5 smaller later faster. It's kind of insane. I'm going to put that on. <laughs> I believe I had an assault rifle damage one, but if I don't find it, I'm, I'm completely fine. Not mixed up about it. Okay, let's try this. A sticky longbow magic missile. Wow, I would have been very upset with myself if I didn't keep that. Whoa. A meteor shower. Are you real? Do you do something? No, you're fake. You do nothing. Incendiary kiss of death. You're incendiary. I like you. I think you can stay. But it's not gonna it's not going to compete. And by stay, I mean you go forever. With the sticky longbow magic missile. Alright, let's go. Pressure plate on top of those crates right there. Alright, bring it on. A lot of guns to try. I'm gonna try out this pyrophobia for a second. Have some fun with it. Oh yeah. That's cool. Not practical because it's a launcher, but cool. Um, this pistol I want to try out. With close enough, is this going to be strong enough to just sit here and just hope? I think for tier two, this is doing fine damage. I would want something that does more damage overall, though. Ow. Can't see much. 
back to our heartbreaker. I think drop reloading this thing might be the way. Ultimate badass, we are kind of ripping him with this thing. Okay, okay. I understand. I understand where you're coming from. Completely understand. But gotta shred you. Wow, that is some visual pollution. I cannot see who's hitting me with that. Ooh. Gosh. It's this guy behind me. He's gone. Holy cow. That was one of the most blinding things I've ever seen in my life. All right, let's see. Extra shot chance. Don't mind if I do. Auto idle could be good, but as we just saw, going down is something that does happen. What did we get? That shotgun slot. I don't trust it. Okay, mimics. Yeah, that's what I thought. What is my class mod? Okay. Yeah, extra shot chance. We're, we're okay. Not a bad. That's really not a bad relic. If it was going to be dragon fight, which it won't be by the end of this tier, so. Don't think so. I think that this gun right here could have a little bit of juice to it. Here's its main problem is that it's not going to be accurate enough to hit crits, but if I can't hit crits with it, it's a lady fist. Longbow incendiary transfusion. You don't strike me as the kind of guy who's telling me the truth about that. Homing slag merv. I might give it a chance. Like that's, that's just a match missile, but worse. Yeah, I think you're actually right about that. Maybe I won't give it a chance. Increased gun damage for all gun types. I mean, that just sounds good to me. That just sounds insanely good. Let's go back to the magic missile and rip it. Rip it and stick it. Okay, let's do it. Who's over there? Yeah, that's it's one of those guns that just goes absolutely insane. We can't see anything. Look at that. Actually, pretty incredible. Gotta reload everything. Okay, we gotta use our AoE, our AoE gun here. Not doing any damage, I don't think. Am I? Oh, is the onslaught over? Is the onslaught's over. Holy. Hey, who's hitting me? You gotta go. Pirate mercenaries. I can get these guys. That's trap. Thank you so much. Okay, he's gone. Transformer. I think my shield's fine. It's just been the the uh, enemy weapons that are OP. Now I'm the OP one. Oh, it's time to see if I get healed. Okay, I got the reload off. That's all that matters. It's a battlefield out here. Only the strong survive. Okay, you thought. Okay. Maybe I maybe I am a a drop reloader. Anything else need to be reloaded? Don't think so. We're good. Okay, see ya. Ooh, man, this game is getting tough. It's getting tough, that's for sure. Checking the fire rates. This is a pretty quick fire rate. Let's see. Okay, we might give it a shot. We might give that one a shot. So we go, just got real. I think we take in increased crit damage or reload speed. I think they're both good. I know I'm doing drop reloads, but sometimes I'm not doing drop reloads because I don't trust myself in the heat of combat. All right, let's give this gun a shot. Let's see what happens. Okay, I honestly don't think it's bad. I just don't think it competes. We'll see when we get into another mutated lab rat. Mad dog. What's up, homie? That's not bad damage. More pep. Okay, that one. This is a Lyud Milla. It's Hyperion as well, which means that it's going to get more accurate. And it's going to give me the Lyud Milla. Okay. 
What in the world? It should get more accurate. It's not though. Its accuracy stat is too low base. Yeah, it's only 10. That's tough. A super inaccurate light Milla who I just got. Yeah, honestly, I think that other assault rifle is good too. Both good weapons. This one just has some more pellets. Okay, okay. We gotta figure out where the big shots are coming from. Right there somewhere. There we go. Once we start seeing those large things happening on the screen, we gotta find those threats and eliminate them immediately. Immediately. Okay. I think we are safe to go for defense. I mean, we have, we have a decent amount of offense. Let's go for Barons and into pressure. These skills are going to be, I think, going to be strong. They're going to be good. I wonder if Sounds the Voices transfers over to Death Trap. I, I really doubt it. Let's see. Firestorm doesn't really make it, isn't the best for this, for this map. Power Pete's immune to fire damage, so. I'm just hoping to go home the old-fashioned way and let's go. Let's swap this this Hyperion Or It's assault rifle Here we go Not putting death trap out until now is criminal of me Okay, good the deeps Start damaging flint Okay, good stuff. Now we don't have that. We don't have our shotgun from the last round. We haven't been far uh, um, farming nearly as much. Oh, hey. Not good. Maybe that'll be my downfall. My tier two downfall. But I want to see if I can push tier two and then tier three is when I really go all out for the best gear. You know what I'm saying? The gear is just so transitory. I think it's my gun making that sound. It's so funny. Okay, we are getting lit up a little bit here. I was hoping that maybe my life, my life tap would come into play, but honestly, I think we're going to be fine. I'm used to playing Borderlands 3 as Flack, and my pet just always comes and finds me and revives me. But I think this Madhouse might have something going for it. Why are all my guns... All my guns are screaming at me. Every single one of them. Is this Lyud Miller doing that? That blackhead looks insane. What gun is? I gotta know what it is. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. Oh boy, it's actually so funny. I'm actually so in, so in love with that. Let's go. Yeah, that invader might be good, but I already got Pyro Pete, and I just I. Speaking of rinsing Pyro Pete. Look at that. Look at the bad boy. Okay, that gun's still good. This gun. I think it might be a fibber. It's behaving like a fibber. I don't know. This gun can probably... I've got too many guns I want to try, man. This gun looks good. Let's just, let's just keep it on. And then... I don't actually have my life tap. Am I crazy? What have I been doing this whole time? I'm, oh my gosh. Oh, we have to kill a snowman. Oh, several snowmen. Got it. Guess what I just got. That's what I just just so happened to acquire a blockhead pistol that's also the blockhead shotgun splash damage P perfect accuracy let's go baby okay do we take the token of giving you know what yes because we did not farm a lot of the a lot of the tier 2 stage. I think right here is where we make up for it and try to see if we can find something dece. Okay. 
Okay, let's do it. This gun is staying. This gun is up for debate. This gun is staying. This gun is staying. Sorry, this gun's up for debate. It's gone. Slag landscaper. I think it might. Be, I think it might be real. It's not real. Okay. Bilateral stinger. High damage. Hyperion. Fast fire rate. It's real. I think that this is this is perhaps the gun of the future. Now, if I am going to be rocking this assault rifle, this obviously is the assault is the class mod of the future. Okay, peak opener. I will shoot it. Under one condition <laughs> that we stand back. I gotta know what's causing that. Ooh, that's a kind of a cool infinity. Fire is too slow though. It's a nice looking Maggie. It's TDR. It's fire is slow though. I get this model one out of my hands. Sorry about that. Fi yeah, fire is slow. Sapping hive. Let's give it a shot. Lady fist. This one might have some better accuracy. It is a Jacobs. Its crit damage is insanely high. I mean, if we could hit something with this. I think that they would take... Whoa. A lot of damage. That is awesome. It's awesome. We're getting some really, really cool weapons here. The Incendiary Uncapped Herald. Slag Lady Fist with 1,000 critical hit damage. Oh, man. It's just so much. Yeah, I'm gonna take this weapon accuracy and reload speed one for this uncapped herald. And let's let's take a look at some different uh, other grenades. Shock matching missiles times ten. Is it real? Okay, I think it's real. All right, let's take our points and head out. Life tap. Yeah, we got some points into it last time, so that's fine. Sharing is caring. Get a, get a copy of my shield. How about that? All right, we go sanctuary. We take SDUs. We fight the raid boss. We go to tier three. That is the plan of action. Okay, let's roll. We get Terramorphous. Let's go. We can use my uncapped Herald on it. Perfect. Reload! <laughs> oh man, that is funny. Alright, Tara. Let's see how this goes. I should have big deeps for you. It's just, this is a 2 milli damage pistol. This Hyperion might be even better though, but I got the fire damage. Let's see. This is... This is the boss fight we want right here. I think he does resist explosive damage. And this gun does not seem to be doing any fire damage, but maybe it is. This gun seems pretty good. Do I still have my... Yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can land a headshot with this bad boy right here. That's Trapper, you're doing a great job. I don't want to say that. See if we can't land a couple crits with this. Does that not that not do the job for me? Yeah, stop messing around then. Killing you. It's gonna give me the lifesteal that I need. Take out Terramorphous. Lifesteal, baby. The lifesteal. Nice job. High five. That's some good lifesteal right there. So let's take these guns just to see if we get anything good on the other side. Alright, let's roll. On the tier 3 we go. Check my inventory first. Got it. You know I will. Did you see that Hydro? It's like a times 26. Too bad it's gone forever. Alright. Tier 3. Okay, no soft lock. I think this is the one I know. Yep. This is the OG. <laughs> what is that? 
Why us? Why now? I'm tempted to like where I gotta remember where that final I think it's on top of that pedestal. But <laughs> that's so funny. Reloading. <laughs> oh man. Alright, on the tier three. This is when we start this one get a little bit serious. I could and I'm not against grabbing some like a good shield from one of these pressure pads. No, I'm not against that at all. Alright, open. I'm not, also not against grabbing a gub, to be honest. Alright, I love thumper. I don't think it's going to do love thumping. Very nice shield. Just take it. Iridium, stack me. Now, for our guns, do we get anything of any value? This gun is still good. This gun had lost a lot of its damage. It was, was 500,000 times 4. Okay. Let's just see if we see any big numbers as we scroll. This blockhead still is putting up but big numbers. I think the bilateral stinger still is as well. This Sincero is posting some large numbers. Very slow fire rate, but large numbers. Okay. We are going to go... I'll uh, stick with extra shot chance. And large numbers, slow fire rate. You're in. Okay, let's go. Anything that I need here? I think I, maybe I will open up this bad boy. Oh my goodness, what is that? I don't even know. I don't even want to th think about using this thing. Look at that damage value. 14 milli. Sorry, I'm leaving it behind. How could you leave behind a 14 milli? You're right, I can't. Yes, I can. I'm out of here. Let's go. Opportunity. Good, because I have good corrosive damage, I'm pretty sure. Okay, how's this thing? Fire rate is one. That's trap. Can you uh can we get started here, please? That I didn't I thought that maybe you would get the party started, but I guess if it's gotta be me, that's fine. Okay, run tier three. The, the mediocre guns don't don't cut it anymore. Especially since my skill tree isn't doing a lot of the carrying, to be honest with you. I would say. I would, I would argue. Okay. Need something a little bit stronger than what we're doing now. I'm going to do slag swaps. Stop that. Oh, that is, that's a bad down right there. Oh, thank you so much, actually. He jumped towards me. That was great. Grenadiers over the top. Got a sham. No, but there's no absorb chance on it. I don't trust anything like that. Are they above me? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's... That guy's inside an ion shield. Yeah. Hide. Crouch. Ouch. <laughs> I think I'm going to be absolutely fine here, though. Yep. There's 10 out of 10. Round over. Okay, so. First things first, loot the stage. We need something better. Anything that's not performing at all? This blockhead hasn't been tested yet. This this could be better. Let's just get rid of it. Light actualizer. Much better than that one. Hmm, man, it's tough. It's tough. Um, and here we can get ourselves a nice pressure pad. A nice tier three pressure pad. What do we got? Varuk. Okay, we do have. A, okay. <clears throat> what do you mean? That's. This is fine. It's our. We'll use it. We we'll use it only as our. When we go down, have a good option. How about that. That sound fair? He can open her time. Alright. 
This Octo looks really, really good. Reload speed extremely small. Fire rate is because it's semi-automatic, which is a bummer. That morning star seems pretty good. It's Jacobs. Okay. Let's go ahead and take quick charge, a little bit of defense for our lives, and some flicker. The skill tree, if it, this skill tree is kind of all over the place. This doesn't, there's no like one solidified, unified idea behind the build, right? It's just, we're taking good, good skills. It, this gun seems, okay, actually not bad, especially because we're rocking a sword echo class mod. Big opener. Let's just try this bad boy with our rifle class mod. There we go. So I could just rock peak opener here. If it comes down to it, I might. Okay, someone's got a hive or something shooting at me. I'm gonna make distance. That's what I got to try out. This pistol. I'll see. I like I like what my grenades are doing for me right now. That's pretty good damage. doing shock as well they're, they're ripping their shields there we go hey looks like there's a grenade at my feet or something nope they have a lot of firepower i have to get down my shots before they do okay quick charge just doing massive things for me right now Ooh, this pistol is going nuts this, this DLC goes crazy, by the way. Captain Scarlet's. You can kind of tell that it was like their first one. Like, I, I kind of like the return to the, like the desolate. You know, there's no water. Like, that's the whole thing. Like, hey, there's no water, by the way. Everyone here died long ago. <laughs> but then you, you discover there's a secret in the town of Oasis. Yeah, underneath it is spoilers, spoilers. Don't look, don't look around, don't look around. See, this, someone's got something nuts down there. I don't really want to have to deal with it. So instead, we're going to shoot bullets at a powder monkey. Okay. Ooh, that gun looks pretty good. We'll get rid of this pistol. We'll try out this. Let's burst. Oh, okay, wait. Okay, it's, it is burst. It's probably going to be pretty good. Quick charge me, flicker. Maybe get down to grip, but I don't even know. If oh, critical ascension! The more criticals we hit in a row, the better crits become. That could be very valuable. I'm already getting ripped. Okay, let's uh, let's crouch. And something that we need to do is swipe our class mods back out. Let's take weapon accuracy and reload speed. Not gonna use peak opener. Oh man, can't see anything. Please tell me it's him though. Death trap, get out here. Hmm. No bueno. Come on, get the kill and run and hide. They might need to do a little bit of carrying here. A little bit of work. There we go. A little bit of life steal. Got some of that Maya life steal. We are so alive. I'm gonna try to get some high ground. As high up as I can go. I know that he's up here, but maybe a grenade can soften him up a little. Ah, shoot. I killed him. Maybe a very dumb move there. But we are alive. I'm just trying to identify a target. How about you? There we go. I use this life tap time. And there's nobody really for me to hit. Come on now. Can't hit him from that far. What else do I got? Got this pistol. Alright, let's go. Let's get Death Trap out. And I immediately go down upon getting my first kill because this guy's beefy. He's large. Okay, I get it. You don't like me, but that was uncalled for. 
Just flying around. Is that you? Yeah. You do your thing. I'll do my thing. Death trap. Try to give me some kills. Okay. Someone over there is shooting some major, major stuff. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna not, not mess with that dude at all, and just pray for death trap. Do everything. Wow. Who's over there shooting that? I'm trying, I'm trying to catch a glimpse, but. Not seeing anybody. Oh, I thought I might have gotten a fatal error there, but no, we survive it. Very cool. Okay. I think, as much as I would love to farm the stage out, it just takes too long to, to farm out for me. We're gonna go next. I'm, I'm liking our tactical gameplay anyway. Is this build gonna get us by the dragons? So I don't know, but we've had we've had enough fun experiences to be kind of please where we, where we got to why i'm running out in the middle of the open just to farm a chest and get stuck is beyond me so it's a tactical play style and i'm just running out in the middle of the open but life steal on kill shields regening on kill like I, i've got a lot of stuff going for me we just run straight forward trigger all the enemies and if they surround us good that'll make it easier to kill if we can push through this guy with our corrosive gun Look at him run in circles see that he's just running just straight up in circles and the peak opener can just be our backup it's our insurance policy how about that it's what we use against the dragons if nothing else is doing anything i mean it not and if nothing if you're if you're discovering that you're not doing enough damage against the dragons it's usually too late anyways that's an interesting Varuk. It says times one. Its fire is 25.3. Any gun not living up to its name? Yeah, we'll swap out that. Kind of a strange, kind of a strange development, this gun. A little bit weird. I'm still waiting for that. Oh, wow, look at this magic missile. And it's higher damage. Okay, we take that. Ooh, the Roboteer actually does make for a good class mod against the dragons. That's why I think Gage in the first place is because Gage has access to Death Trap. And Death Trap can tank the dragons, which is perfect. That's what we want. All right, Turkey Lurkey. Oh, he's invincible. There we go. I, did I lose my screaming voice, by the way? Must have lost my, my role that was giving me that funny voice. Hey, could you, um, hey bro, hey bro. There's a lot of other targets out here. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, okay. Hopefully I can bring him over to one of these laddies. You know, let's just go, let's just go attack the turkey. Yeah, this, that'll be a lot better. Boom, and now we can kill one of the small turkeys, get ourselves some life steal and some shield recharge. Looks like a kind of a cool gun. Looks like a peak opener. Got that effervescent on it. Take it. Okay. Chain lightning. Okay, we don't need anything of that. Although the chain lightning with a grog nozzle could be something that I could use in the dragon fight. It's a grenade that does what it says it does. At the end of the day. Okay, open up these bad boys and then boom, it'll be on to the final portion. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. The fire rate is just too slow on these to be competitive, I think. A little bit, a little bit too slow to be competitive. Okay, just have to have fire damage out for this and then we should be fine. Here we go. We will be up to 30 kills in no time. Life steal and shield regen at the same time, we're in no danger.
Okay. So, if I shoot the eggs, does anything happen? Probably not. Let's grab our token. Place our iridium. And we're going to be hot swapping a weapon out. Probably this one right here. For a grog nozzle, if we can afford one, which we can. And if there's one in the shop, and it's all randomized. Okay. I just don't understand why you would do this to me. When I buy it, I bet you it's not even... I bet you it's not even uh, the same weapon. I'm looking for a Snyder. There it is right there, I think. I'll slap it on. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Use the rest of my iridium for this. And then keep some a bonus iridium. That way we can try to fight these or can pick up these bonuses if we need to. So optimal strategy here is going to look like what? It's probably going to look like bring them down with a... Bring them down with this SMG. And then try to rinse them with something. I feel like this bilateral stinger should be good, but it's just overall damage just isn't there, I feel like, at the end of the day. I have a lot of quest rewards that I haven't picked up. I haven't even checked to see if they're in here. Like this Shredifier. No, not the Shredifier. So I'm just going to take a peek. I think this, this Uncapped Terror would still be decent. It's just not as good as it was before. This gun seems pretty good. It's just that its fire is too slow. Lady Fist could be good too. Got very high critical damage. Anything else? Nope. It doesn't look like we got any good, like, super, super strong weapons. Gatling guns are good. In general, it's like having kind of having a cheat. It's kind of like having a cheat gun. I think this gun could be good. We'll slap it in. Come on. That trap. The key here is that you tag the dragons and aggro them before they aggro onto me. So I need you to stand a little bit closer, just like that, to the where the dragons spawn. Hopefully, they now have aggroed onto him. Let's see. A okay, fire came down first. I, I I have no explanation. Oh, it's because it's because Death Trap took fire down first. Okay, what do we got to hit this guy with? We're getting a little bit, a little bit juiced up by this guy. Let's see how much damage we can do, and we're gonna die instantly. Don't worry, we'll just die instantly. It's not a big deal. Oh my gosh, we don't do any damage. Just see, how about this gun? This gun actually does pretty good damage, just not enough in, in time. This gun actually, yeah, it would look like it would have to be peak opener just the most, absolutely, but hey! You know the dragon fight is a toss-up, no matter what happens, especially if you have randomized gear, it's can come, it can, it can be a pretty tough fight. But I'm happy with how that run went, we got to access that really cool focus favor in the start, and that's, that was enough for me to have a, a great time. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one, I'll see y'all in the next one, bye!